Hi, in this lecture, I'm going to talk about a steady state radial flow to a well. And this is a part of our bachelor level course on groundwater hydrology. Okay, so when a well is pumped, water is removed from the aquifer surrounding the well. And depending on the type of the aquifer, either the water table or the piezometric surface is lower. Okay. So here we have three definitions. The first one is the drawdown. So the drawdown at a given point is the distance. Let's assume this point, okay? Let's consider this point. So the drawdown at a given point is the distance the water level is lower. So the water level here, this dashed line is the piezometric surface that is lower to this point. So this distance is the drawdown, okay? A drawdown curve shows the variation of the drawdown with distance from the well. So here, this solid line, the solid line, this one, solid black line, that is the drawdown curve, okay? And then in three dimension, as you can imagine, the drawdown curve describes a conic shape known as the cone of depression, okay? So these were uh, the last definition. This was the last definition, that is, that the first, the first one is the drawdown, the other one is the drawdown curve, and the third one was the cone of depression. Okay, so, so now let's assume you're dealing with a two dimensional flow, okay, and uh, uh, to a well centered on a circular island and penetrating a homogeneous and isotropic confined aquifer. As you can see here, you have this well here penetrating into the, uh, let's assume it is, uh, the, the well basically penetrated uh, a homogeneous and isotropic confined aquifer, uh, uh, and it is centered uh, on a circular island, okay? And as, another assumption is that let's assume you have horizontal flow everywhere, so there's no vertical flow, okay? So now our, our basic objective, our aim here is to calculate the well discharge rate as a function of the other given parameters. Okay, so using plane, uh, using plane polar coordinates with the well as the origin, so where the, where the well is located, we consider that one as the origin, that this, the well discharge rate shown by the, this uh, capital uh, Q for the steady state radial flow at any distance or from the center of the well can be calculated using this can be calculated using this equation that is capital Q that is the discharge rate Q um, the capital Q uh, has the unit of uh, uh, L, -S uh, L with the power of 3 divided by time is equal to area that is L square times the Darcy velocity that is length uh, divided by time okay so the Darcy velocity is minus k times the gradient of the, um, the, the times uh, basically the gradient of the head. So minus K times DH divided by DR, that gives you the Darcy velocity. So you need to now multiply that by the area. Okay, as you can see in this picture here, you're basically dealing with a cylinder uh, and for the area, you need to calculate the lateral area of this cylinder, which is equal to two pi R, okay? at any distance or from the center of the well times B, which is the thickness of your um, aquifer, okay? So you can easily rearrange this equation and uh, express uh, 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 the head as a function of the R uh, uh, and then take the integral, basically express the, the uh, H as a function of the R and take the integral, this is a relatively uh, a straightforward integral to calculate. And then you will have constant of the integral. So you have uh, two boundary conditions here to calculate the constant of the integral because at, at R equal to RW, you see here our two RW, or basically RW is the radius of your well. So at R equal to RW, the H, uh, H is equal to HW, and at R equal to R naught, at the edge of your, your island, you know that the head is equal to H naught. Okay, so if you, so that means you have these two boundary condition here, you can apply that to the solution of that integral, and then you'll end up with, the, you can then express uh, the, uh, you can obtain this equation. And if you, since you were interested in the Q, the discharge rate, you can rearrange this equation and express a Q as a function of the other parameters. Okay, and that was 
for this uh, particular scenario we considered here, but uh, uh, for the more general case of a well penetrating and extensive confined aquifer, there is basically no external limit for R. So at any given R, uh, the, you can simply write this equation. So instead of R naught, you put R here as I did here, and instead of uh, H naught, you put uh, H here. Okay, the the head at that given uh, at that uh, point of interest. Okay, so and this equation is known as the equilibrium equation. Okay, and this is a very practical equation. You can uh, calculate, for example, the hydraulic conductivity of uh, your aquifer using this equation. Okay, so let, let me read it from here. That is the equilibrium equation enables us to determine the hydraulic conductivity of a confined aquifer from a pumped well that fully penetrates the aquifer. Okay, how does it work? Basically, the method cons consists of measuring the drawdown in two observation wells at different distances of distances from a well pumped at a constant rate. So suppose, the, imagine you have this well here and you have this constant flow rate of Q, the discharge rate of Q, okay? And then you have these two observation well, okay? And in this observation well, uh, you, uh, assume or, 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 or consider that you measure or you have the value of the H1 and H2. Okay, and and using this equation here, if you basically apply this equation for this uh, on these two uh, observation uh, uh, on these two observation uh, well, and then do the algebra, uh, it's a relatively straightforward algebra. You can uh, uh, algebraic oper uh, operation, uh, uh, algebraic operation. Uh, you can then simply um, uh, calculate, obtain this equation that relates the well discharge rate to the to the head in this observation observation wells as well as the distance uh, of these wells from the uh, pumped well okay so that is q is equal to 2 pi b k times uh, h2 minus h1 divided by ln r2 divided by r1 so r1 so r2 and r1 you already have h1 and h2 you basically uh, obtain from this observation well and the thickness of the aquifer uh, let's assume you have it q you measure and then you can calculate the permeability or hydraulic conductivity of your aquifer which will be uh, necessity to an uh, which will be necessary for further uh, let's say uh, investigation or calculation of the um, flow and transport uh, processes in, in, in such an aquifer okay so from a practical standpoint the drawdown s rather than the uh, the head uh, h is measured so the above equation can be written as the can be rewritten as this so basically uh, in practice basically it is the drawdown that you measure rather than the, um, the rather than the head okay so th these two equations are basically the same because here look uh, this is s1 and this is uh, h1 okay and this is h0 so you can easily write here s1 is equal to h0 minus h1 okay correct and then you can write here s2 is equal to h0 minus h2 okay therefore if you therefore you can write S1 minus S2 will be equal to H2 minus H1. Okay, so in a set of H2 minus H1, I can simply put S1 minus S2. So therefore you can rewrite this equation like this one. Okay, so Q is equal to 2 pi B K times S1 minus S2 divided by Ln R2 divided by R1. Okay. So this is just uh, to make sure, again, you know all these parameters, or everything is listed here. Uh, so we talked about the thickness, we talked about the, the head, we talked about the head at the observation wells or at the, located at the distance R1 and R2. We talked about S1 and S2 and, and, and so on, okay? Um, again, I wanted to emphasize here that to use this equation, pumping must continue at a uniform rate for a sufficient time to approach a steady state. So the whole topic here is on the steady state flow, okay? Uh, so that's important to consider. That is one in which, that is one in which the drawdown changes negligibly with time, okay? So you need to uh, achieve a steady state to be, able to be able to apply this uh, equation, 
Okay, so there is an example here uh, that uh, you can easily solve it using this equation. So let's go through that together. That is a well fully penetrates a 25 meter thick uh, confined aquifer. So that is B is 25 meter after a long period of pumping at a constant rate of this. So that means the steady state has been already established at the constant rate of 0 0.05 cubic meter per second. The drawdowns at distances of 50 and 150 meter from the well were observed to be 3 and 1.2 meter okay so that is basically r1 that is r2 okay and that is uh, s3 s1 and that is s2 so all the parameter is given here okay so all you need to do so the question is calculate the hydraulic conductivity of this aquifer so all you need to do is to uh, write down this equation and then since we want our hydraulic conductivity, you just rearrange this equation K as a function of the rest. So you will end up with this equation. Here you have everything. You have the Q already given in the question, okay? Um, given in the question, but just pay attention here. I'm working with the uh, cubic meter per day. Well, this was cubic meter per second. So you want to convert it to, to, to convert it to cubic meter per day. So you have the Q, you have the two, you have the pi, you have the B, that is 25 meter. S1 is given, that is uh, three meter. S2 is given, that is 1.2 meter. R2 is given, that is 150 meter. R1 is given, that is 50 meter. You just plug everything here and you calculate 16.8 uh, meter per day. Okay, so here just I wanted to highlight here again that S1 minus S2 is equal to 3 minus 1.2, which is equal to 1.8 meter. And as we know, we already discussed about that, that S1 minus S2 as well is equal to uh, H2 minus H1. Okay, anyway, so the hydraulic conductivity has been now calculated as 16.8 meter per day. From this um, uh, relatively high value of hydraulic conductivity, one can uh, uh, conclude that this aquifer is probably a sandy aquifer. Uh, and that's why the hydraulic conductivity is that uh, high. Okay, and that was uh, pretty much it about the uh, flow in, um, in the, yeah, basically uh, uh, groundwater flow um, equations. Okay, I hope uh, you found this uh, lecture uh, helpful. Thank you.